on January 10, 1805, the mercury stood at 40 degrees below zero, which is actually 72 degrees below the freezing point of 32. Some Indians came into Fort Mandan to say that they were looking for a 13-year-old boy and a man who were lost and had not returned home from a hunt the day before. The Indians asked if they could use one of the sleds that their white neighbors had made because they expected to have to bring them home frozen to death. About 10 a.m., the 13-year-old boy Open came in on his own, alive and well, except for frozen feet. Captain Lewis soaked his feet in cold water until they thawed out. Soon after, the lost Indian man came in, not the least injured, both were dressed very poorly, and it seemed to the captains and the men that the Indians could endure much more suffering than could seem possible for a human body to endure. Sometimes I wonder just how much I could suffer under trial. I believe God will always give us the ability to suffer much pain when need be. I once heard a story of some missionaries that were sentenced to be burned alive by some hostile Iroquois Indians in the 1600s here in America. The missionaries told the first brother who was to be burned that as the flames of fire burned loose the ropes around his arms that he should hold up one finger if God was giving him the ability to endure the suffering. As the flames leaped about his feet he stood solid like a rock. Soon enough the ropes broke loose his hands and he held up his arm to tell his brothers that were about to die the secret code. But instead of holding up one finger, he held up two, trying to tell his brothers that God's grace and the ability to endure great suffering was more than enough. Hebrews chapter 11 verses 36 through 38 tell us of the heroes of faith. Verses 34 and 35 tell us how they escaped and the great things they did. Verses 36 through 40 tell us the suffering that many went through. It says in 36, they had to suffer the trial of mocking and scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned to death. They were lured with tempting offers to renounce their faith. They were sawn asunder. They were slaughtered by the sword. While they were alive, they had to go about wrapped in skins of sheep and goats, utterly destitute, oppressed, and cruelly treated. Men of whom this world was not worthy, roaming over the desolate places in the mountains, living in caves and caverns and holes of the earth. Remember, the battle is the Lord's. He will give you the ability to endure whatever you have to go through for His name's sake and His kingdom. Let's pray together. Father, I pray that you give each one of us listening the ability to overcome in the day of battle, that we can overcome the world, the flesh, and the devil, that you give us strength to be victorious in battle. Lord, that we wouldn't lose our faith and deny the faith, that we would say that Jesus is Lord no matter what happens. Father, if there's young people listening, I pray at school, especially if they're in a public school, Lord, that they will have the ability to stand up for you, Jesus, even though they're ridiculed and mocked by friends around them. Father, for the adults listening, as they go to work and do their activities, that you give them the ability and the grace to stand up for Jesus Christ at work and among their friends. In Jesus' name, amen.